now for the pet counselor, which follows immediately in full color over most of these stations. Ladies and gentlemen of my television audience, it will greatly aid my diagnosis if each owner of the disturbed pet will send me, along with his letter, a sketch of the pet and its predicament. Please do not bring your pets themselves into the studio. You'll be glad to know that the engineer who was bit by a high school platypus is now fully recovered. <laughs> How many letters do we have today, Miss Whitaker? There are six, Doctor. The first one comes from Joe Wright. We have a fish with ears and wonder if it is valuable. I find no trace in the, any of the standard <laughs> fish books of any fish with protruding ears. To discuss this creature, I should have to see it. I hope that you see it. <laughs> They may really be hysterical ears, in which case they will go away and get the fish's mind on something else. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's seal will not juggle, although we have tried everything. Most seals will not juggle. In fact, I don't think I've ever known one that did juggle. Seals balance things and sometimes toss objects from one to the other, such as the large ball in your sketch. Of course, this last will be difficult if your husband has but one seal. <laughs> <laughs> Try to play balancing with the billiard cue or something. Mrs. Fanny Edwards Jennings. Mr. Jennings bought this piece when it was a pop in Montreal for a St. Bernard, but I don't think it is. It's grown enormously and it's stubborn about letting me have anything, like the bath towel it has its ball and the hat, both of which belong to Mr. Jennings. We bought it that bowling ball to play with, but doesn't seem to like it. Mr. Jennings is greatly attached to the teacher. When you have is a bear, and <laughs> <laughs> oh, it isn't my bear, I should suggest that you dispose of it. As these animals get older, they get more and more adamant about letting you have it. Until finally, there may be nothing left in the house you can call your own, except for possibly the bowling ball. <laughs> Tune in next week when we discuss the amazing 